Hi everyone, it's Enchanted. Thank you so much for tuning in. So in today's video, we're going to be picking cards to see what manifestations are and blessings are coming for you within the next two weeks. So these could be things that you've already been working on and manifesting and you're finally going to see the results. Or this could be something that, you know, uh, could just emerge within the next two weeks. Yeah, um, it really could be anything. We're going to be um, picking cards, you know, oracle cards as well as tarot cards to see what areas of your life will be impacted for the better. And yeah, okay, so let me go ahead and introduce the two piles. Here we have pile one with the pyrite and here we have pile two with the blue sodalite. So yeah, go ahead and take a second to um Meditate upon the piles and pick one that you are the most energetically drawn to. You can pick based on anything, the angel numbers, the crystals, the properties, the crystals, the colors, the crystals, the decks. It is really up to you. You can even watch both piles, of course, um, but do go ahead and pick a pile that you are the most energetically drawn to. Once you have done that, um, go to their timestamp, click on your respective pile, and we will see you in your reading. Hi one, welcome to your reading. So you all pick the pyrite. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and pick some cards to see what is manifesting for you in the next two weeks. Okay, so these are going to be like, you know, um, I was going to say quicker manifestations, but for a lot of you, these could be manifestations that you have been working on for a while and you're going to be seeing results um of these of you know the hard energetic work that you've put in i mean we'll see but um the main point of this video is to see like what areas of your life are going to be um like you're going to be seeing changes in or manifestations coming to fruition so yeah i'm going to start off your reading by picking cards from the numinous deck um to see what is going on here okay we got 11th house we got communication okay so i do feel like uh you could be getting communication from a friend um or like a friend group or you're going to be hanging out with a group of friends oh my gosh there's this like crumb that's here oh gosh okay yeah okay i'm also thinking like parties cakes cookies like you know, just like fun food festivities that make sense because i'm filming this uh you know during like holiday season but yeah like i said you may be getting communication from a friend or like um some like some sort of like friend group or you'll be meeting new friends through mutual friends um this also says like startups okay so maybe if you're starting like your own startup or your own business or, or your own side hustle i feel like you're going to be gaining a lot of notoriety i feel like you're already going to be like um gaining a lot of buzz from that like oh my gosh yeah i said buzz because of the bees on this picture I was trying to think like how I could relate relate it to this Mercury card. Um, a lot of people are going to be like taking note of everything that you've been doing, and I'm also seeing that you're going to be getting a lot of sales. Um, if you are, you know, starting your own business, or maybe you work in sales or retail, or you work on like a commission based thing. Yeah. Um, this also says like festivals and like hope. Okay festivals and tribes so i feel like you definitely could be meeting your soul tribe you're going to be meeting like like-minded people that are going to be there for you really like boost you up um really hype you energize you motivate you um i'm also seeing that yeah you know, with this tribe like you're just going to be meeting people that are going to be very good and pleasant to be around like no toxicity no like drama no anything like that you know um it's going to be like really easy for you to get along with these people i am seeing that you're going to be meeting a lot of new people um maybe you could be like invited to a wedding or like a bachelorette and you'll meet like the other people um or it could be or bachelor's party yeah or it could just be some sort of social event maybe volunteering because uh this also says humanitarian um or no it doesn't say that but Oh no, it says humanity. Yeah, community. Um, some You're going to be doing something uh, community-based or be meeting people in your community or like you're just going to be around a lot of people. So put your like, you know, social caps on. I don't know if that's a thing, but like get ready to socialize is what I'm seeing here. This also says, yeah, festivals. So if you're into like music or um, EDM or something like that, I do see some festivals coming your way and parties as well. Um, this also says learning with this Mercury and communication. So I feel like if there's something that you've been working on, um, Maybe if you have like a midterm coming up, you've been putting in a lot of hard work into your classes, you're going to be um, seeing really positive results. You're going to be getting really great test scores. And I'm just seeing that a lot of things that you are working on are going to come to fruition. Um, a lot of things that you've been like working hard towards, you're going to be seeing the results of those manifestations. This also says like... Uh, 
analysis, words, thoughts. So I feel like you've been paying attention to like, you know, the way that you think maybe you've been doing a lot of manifestations or sorry, you've been doing a lot of affirmations and you're trying to like, you know, manifest, um, if you're trying to man manifest opportunities, I feel like you're on the right track, okay? If, you, if you're if you watching this video, you manifested this video, and you are going to be getting some really great opportunities coming your way, you know, communication from employers. Uh, maybe it could be like a friend or like a someone in your network, uh, some sort of connection that you had that referred you to um, this opportunity. And yeah, because of that, like, you know, a lot of people are going to be interested in you. So I feel like you're going to make some really genuine friends or uh, attract some like, you know, really great opportunities or you already have really genuine friends. I'm also seeing maybe strengthening the bond or relationship between these friends. Yeah. Okay. So we also got opposition balance. Okay. So I do feel like this is a time where you're going to be doing a lot of self-reflection and introspection. Okay. This says mirror. So you're really going to be taking a good hard look at the mirror, um, you know, the metaphorical mirror and kind of just learn more about yourself learn more about who you are on the inside you know mirrors it's funny that i'm saying this they show you like who you are on the surface level but again i'm seeing more of like a psychological or metaphorical mirror this reminds me of those mirrors like you know when you're in an enclosed room and there's like two mirrors facing one another like it's kind of a you know mirrorception <laughs> yeah it just keeps going on and on so I, I just feel like there's a lot of like expect a lot of I was going to say expect a lot of depth, but I'm more seeing like doing in-depth analysis because this card even says analysis and this is all about like, you know, reflection um, and also solving some sort of conflicts or disputes that you've been having, whether it be with yourself or with someone else. I feel like uh, if there is some sort of conflict that you've been dealing with, um, you're going to like come into balance or you're going to be making peace with that okay or you're going to be gaining communication maybe someone will be extending an apology or giving you some clarification and it's going to make you feel you know really good um i even feel like if this is something that you had going on with a friend the situation definitely is going to resolve itself yeah okay we also got the sixth house of craft okay so i really feel like you're going to be honing in on your craft whatever it is that you do you're going to be really lucrative or you're going to be seeing a lot of results from that like let's say you know you have a tiktok you know you're going to be making a lot of tiktoks and you're going to be gaining a lot of views and maybe you'll even be gaining communication from like brand and you know brands that want to make you a brand ambassador or you know this could even be like work whatever you are working on at work you're going to be gaining recognition and yeah, I keep hearing like honing in on your craft. You're going to be improving. Um, things are going to be a lot easier for you. Things are going to be a lot more fun and stress-free. So if you have been feeling a little bit stressed out at work, uh, expect way more peaceful times ahead, okay? Even like with this 11th house, I always associate that with like people, groups, peers, coworkers. So if that is the case here, then um, things will be fine, okay? Like you're I, maybe these coworkers will like you know apologize themselves or like you know i just see the conflict resolution here so um anything that's stressing you out anything that isn't quite serving you right now you're going to be seeing um the exact opposite of that or you're going to be seeing that situation like remediated yeah uh we also got the eighth house of intimacy okay so i really do feel like you're okay this is uh a lot of different Oh my gosh, this card has a lot of different messages here. Um, so I do feel like you could be getting intimate with like, you know, a romantic partner. Like it doesn't necessarily have to be in the physical sense, but like um, I, I do see that like you'll just be forming a deeper bond or deeper connection. You know, intimacy comes in all different, uh, in different ways, shapes and forms. But I'm also seeing maybe you could be um, getting closer, or bonding deeper with friends that you already have or be getting to know someone better that you didn't know like super well. Yeah. But this also says like investments. I'm even seeing that if you are planning on investing in something, this is a great time to do so. I feel like you're going to be reaping the benefits of that. I'm seeing maybe in six to eight weeks, but if there's investments that you've already made, um, maybe six to week, six to eight weeks ago, then you're going to be seeing um, results. You're gonna, okay, you're going to be seeing those investments really grow. Um, if you're into like stocks, trading, investing, you don't necessarily have to sell or anything right now, but uh, you are going to like, you're, you're just going to see... A lot of progress in that aspect of your life in your finances in your material life in your career life as well this also says kundalini energy so i really do feel like you're going to be going through some sort of awakening you're really going to get to know yourself on a deeper more intimate level and it's going to make you like feel really confident um 
you know, just like you're going to feel a lot more like yourself. If you've been feeling a little bit off balance lately with this, you know, opposition card, um, trust when I say that you will um, be attracting a lot more balance. You'll be attracting, you know, just better, more secure people. Maybe um, I'm also seeing like with this eighth house, sorry, with this 11th house and this opposition, you could have been attracting toxic people or really jealous and insecure people that projected things. And that's not going to be the case anymore. I feel like either these people are going to be changing their behavior or you're going to be manifesting you much better people that are more, that are more in alignment with, um, um, you know you your energy and maybe even people that will help you get the things that you want okay we also got this uh symbol here i do believe that's like you know it's similar to like the evil eye so you are protected you are divinely guided and protected if that is something that you believe in um this also says like secrets mysteries uh i do feel like you might there might be something that's going to be revealed to you some sort of secret something that has been a mystery that is that you're going to gain a lot more clarity on it isn't it have to necessarily be bad i know secrets you know uh it has a certain connotation associated with it but i'm seeing that you're going to be getting clarity on something and it is going to be um very like i was gonna say like therapeutic but it's gonna like make you feel really relieved like oh i'm glad i really know that i'm glad that you know this came to light um maybe for some of you it's going to be something that you're glad that came to light because it's not something that you want to surround yourself with or engage in anymore or maybe for other things it's going to be something really positive that came to light that's going to like you know even that's going to like um bring you into even more abundance or leave you feeling just a lot more I'm seeing like clearing of energy, okay? So there's something that I really feel like is going to be leaving your life for a lot of you so that like, you know, uh, it can pave way for something better energetically, okay? So there could be like some sort of negative energy or limiting beliefs or negative people that you're going to be getting rid of. Um, I even feel like maybe, you know, the truth is, uh, I always forget these quotes, but it's like um, something about like freedom and truth and the truth is the only way out or something like that okay but like um i'm even seeing that there could be some secret admirers that are going to be revealing themselves to you i even feel like maybe you attract a lot of like stalkers or people that are really into you like obsessed with you people that are very much um you know like people that are very much yeah like they've been like okay stalking you i don't know why i paused on that i, I even feel like okay yeah there's i'm get, i'm seeing that there's a lot of like confessions coming your way okay maybe not a lot lot but like there are some people that are going to be dming you or messaging you or like you know confessing something um to you like professing their love for you um or wanting you know something more with you or maybe even like complimenting you on your looks or something like that yeah um okay let's go ahead and pick some tarot cards to see what other um manifestations are coming true for you uh and again this is like more immediate manifestations you're going to be seeing these happen in the next two weeks but i'm also seeing something to do with six to eight weeks so whatever it is that you're manifesting in the next two weeks maybe you'll get like a bigger version of that or like a more extended version of that in the next six to eight weeks like let's say um you get like recognized for something at work in the next two weeks maybe in the next six to eight weeks because that thing happened you're going to be getting a promotion so i'm seeing like whatever's happening in the next two weeks will set the theme of what's happening in the next six to eight weeks um or you know like the next two months or so and whatever's happening in the next two weeks you're going to be seeing like an amplification of that in the next two months yeah sorry i feel like i'm saying the same thing <laughs> multiple times but i mean yeah those numbers are really standing out to me six eight also eleven that also adds up to two so yeah this totally makes sense okay we also got the queen of pentacles okay so you are going to be coming into a lot of abundance i feel like your financial and career manifestations are coming true i feel like you're going to be gaining um i'm more seeing like financial prosperity like of course you could be gaining recognition but i'm seeing some sort of raise or bonus which you know recognition a lot of the times does come with that but like i'm just seeing like financial prosperity okay and um some sort of influx or increase in finances maybe you know this could yeah this could have to do with your actual job but i'm also seeing like maybe brands or something want to collab with you or maybe you'll find some other like side hustle um that will you know get, make, make you consistent income i'm also seeing a lot of messages about consistent income these two cards have like a sense of permanency attached to them so something long term for sure maybe it'll be like some sort of partnership you have that you know will pay you literally every month yeah that could also be um 
part of it. Yeah, we also got the Two of Wands. Interesting. So I do feel like in the next two weeks, you could be traveling somewhere or booking a trip to somewhere or thinking about like just expanding yourself in some way, okay? This to me that has to do with like expansion, traveling, expansion of knowledge. So I feel like you're going to take um, on a new hobby or a new skill or maybe you'll be physically traveling somewhere. Um, it doesn't have to be like somewhere super far because yeah, you know, sometimes people need a little bit more time than two weeks to just like plan for that like i'm not saying you're gonna like book a trip to like, paris or something i mean who knows you might i mean that'd be pretty cool like if you live in like the united states but like i'm just seeing some sort of expansion of knowledge wisdom traveling picking up a new skill or hobby um okay we also got the nine of pentacles a lot of earth sign energy maybe you could even be attracting some earth signs into your life a lot of the times when you attract earth signs into your life or okay there's different explanations for you know each sign based on their element but when you attract earth signs into your life that is a sign that like you know you're about to come into stability or like your hard work is paying off like um when you attract fire signs into your life that could be uh something you know like it could be a sign that you should go after your passion you should go after what really ignites that fuel that fire within you if you attract a lot of air signs you know that's about like focusing a little bit more on like you know the mind and things related to the mind um focusing more on your intellectual pursuits and endeavors also i just realized i'm so sorry if we didn't get to see this beautiful pirate in the beginning my camera is literally sideways so yeah i really do hope uh the cards weren't like i, I do hope you've been seeing this reading as a whole okay there we go yeah but when you attract air signs that has to do with like you know maybe taking on more like intellectual pursuits and when you uh manifest water signs you know that could be like a good sign for love like you're manifesting um maybe emotional openness or opening up your heart chakra or just being more vulnerable in that sense yeah but uh we did get a lot of earth energy here so i do see um your finances increasing your business uh you reaching all your business goals your business um goals just you know getting more and more sorry, whatever's going on with your business, getting more traction. Um, maybe if you're on TikTok or some sort of social media, you could use that to elevate your business. I feel like um, you're going to be channeling like infinite intelligence to make all your dreams come true. I've actually been reading the book, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Joseph Mur Murphy. I highly recommend checking that out. He talks a lot about intelligence and you know, how to channel infinite intelligence and wisdom. It's a really great book. Um, and, you know, I'm just seeing there's a lot of, like, mindset alignment that, you know, you could you could be working on kind of, like, changing your mindset or, yeah, shifting in that sense. And whatever it is that you're doing, it is working for you because I feel like you're manifesting a lot of great things. I feel like you're in this abundance mindset. And because of that, like, you know, the universe is throwing a lot of great things your way. When you think from the perspective of, oh, the universe is abundant, there's enough abundance and love and whatever it is that you want to go around, that's when the universe gives more of it to you because you're basically telling the universe you're in the vibrational vicinity of that. And all, all you need to do is really ask okay the universe again it is like it is flowing with abundance you just have to connect with your spirit guides so i'm also seeing you could be connecting with your spirit guides um i'm seeing something to do with uh grapes so i feel like purple your spirit guides might be like uh it, oh, it's hard to tell from like these cards but i'm seeing a lot of like purple energy crown chakra energy maybe um if you've been noticing a lot of like purple coming your way or like you've been noticing a lot of like purple things um sometimes it's like when you focus on certain things you tend to see a lot of that color um or maybe when you see like grapes or something i, I know that's such a random message but like um it reminds me of like wine maybe your spirit guide is like uh, some sort of like is there a god of wine in greek mythology okay at this point i don't know what i'm saying but i really do feel like this is the time to connect with your spirit guides you can definitely check out like you know other videos on who are your spirit guides maybe i'll even do a video on that but i feel like you will be getting closer to your spirit guides and your spirit guides will be giving you um abundance okay your spirit guides will be giving you your desires okay we got grapes and literally two of the cards i don't think like all the cards have that no just um maybe it's just the pentacles cards or something i don't know but grapes is associated with wine which is associated with like luxury okay that's the message that i really meant to give and i am seeing that you're going to be um you're going to be like having maybe going on a very luxurious vacation or manifesting luxury in your life and high quality things high quality items high quality experiences and high quality people okay so this is looking really good for you i feel like this definitely was more of like a money career material abundance type pile um, but definitely friends as well you're going to be like making really meaningful connections or you know 
really building upon the connections that you've already made and overall you're just gonna like be really happy i feel like your social life is going to be thriving this time around your career life is also going to be great um yeah i feel like your love life we didn't get too many messages on that but i do feel like you're going to be getting intimate with people in whatever way that you want to of course but i do feel like if you're if you already have like a partner or significant other you're going to be like connecting with them on a deeper level and bonding with them maybe you'll even be taking a trip with them yeah maybe you've been talking about that or maybe you could be at a distance from this person and um the both of you will reunite maybe they'll come to you or you'll go to them but i'm also seeing you're coming into a lot of stability so that could also mean for your love life okay i feel like um this person really wants to work on this connection with you but like this person thinks you're really individualistic that's something that i'm seeing you know, these two cards are they always remind me of like you know the independent like boss ass female that has a lot going on or like you know whoever male whatever it is that you resonate with but these two are like highly independent cards so i just feel like you're going to be finding yourself a little bit more you know before you like take that next step in your love life but i see that you're going to be seeing like you know more like social friend type manifestations and career and mature life manifestations um coming true first yeah and you're going to be coming into a lot of balance as well so again if there's anything that like you know isn't serving you you're going to be feeling a lot better about that okay you're going to really just um let that go and uh it's going to be really great yeah it's going to be very therapeutic for you almost i feel like maybe you'll even be treating yourselves a lot because you work so hard you know you deserve to absolutely um treat yourself and um get the most out of everything that you do so yeah i'm also seeing like optimizing okay like you'll be optimizing your time you'll be more efficient you definitely are a hard worker but i feel like you're going to be like working smart again i keep hearing the spiritual download channeling infinite intelligence and it's just like whatever it is that you're going to do it's not going to feel like hard work um although like people Okay, it, it is hard work. You will be working hard, but it's like, it's going to look easy to other people. People are going to be like, how do you do it? You make everything look so seamless and effortless, but like only you know how much hard work goes into that. But it's like, if let's say you have um, you know, this project, this business endeavor that you're working on, um, and maybe like you haven't been reaching or okay, maybe you have been reaching uh, the numbers that you want, but like, you know, because you've been at it for so long or because you've experienced um, something, you know, whether it be like, successes or failures like you know you now know what to do and you're going to be doing things um in a more efficient manner like i'm seeing that you will have learned from your successes and failures and whatever endeavors that you are going to like pursue in the future you're going to be going about it in a very like um smart manner like i'm just saying you're going to be like improving and learning from all your mistakes and learning from all your successes as well so if there's something that's working well for you now is definitely the time to capitalize on that um and put efforts you know towards that and if there's something that hasn't been working that well then you know you're gonna learn and be like yeah you know what like I think I'm gonna switch things up here, okay? But overall, I'm seeing that your experience is really important. So I'm getting messages from spirit guides to pay attention to your experiences and everything that you have gone through um, in order for you to, you know, pave um, better result, pave a way, pave your way for more abundance and better results, okay? So yeah, that is what we got for you, pile one. Oh my gosh, you guys also picked the pirate once again. Yeah, this is also um, the crystal of material abundance and success and manifestation and money yeah so again i am seeing a lot of like you know manifestations coming true ah a lot of career and finance financial manifestations coming to fruition so yeah i will go ahead and end the reading right here i really hope this helped take what resonates and leave what doesn't you always have free will in your reality if this pile didn't resonate you can of course go and pick another pile i also do want to let you know that i offer in-depth video readings so if you are interested in getting personal questions answered be sure to check out the description box below where you can sign up for one and yeah i will go ahead and end the reading right here thank you so much love and life oh my gosh love and light <laughs> Hi pile two, welcome to your reading. So you all picked the blue soda light. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and pick some cards to see what is manifesting for you in the next two weeks, okay? What blessings and manifestations are coming to fruition fairly quickly? These can be things that you have, um, you know, already been working on and you're finally gonna see the results in two weeks or it could be something that totally just emerges within the two weeks, but yeah, um, either or. Uh, we'll go ahead and pick some cards from the Numinous deck to see what areas of your life will be impacted. Um, okay, we got Aquarius, the innovator. Interesting. Um, let's go ahead and pick a couple more cards. We got Aries. Interesting. 
We got Moon Feelings. We got Healing. Chiron. We also got Trine, Flow. And then um, we got the 10th house. And we also got Taurus. Okay. Um, that's quite the variety here. Okay. Um, let's talk about this Aquarius card first. So um, this is Innovator. As you can see so I'm seeing that there could be something that we're working on maybe some sort of business or some sort of side hustle or maybe it's something at work maybe it's like a new project or something like that and I'm really seeing that whatever it is that you're working on you're going to be gaining recognition okay this thing that you are innovating or creating or maybe you're like co uh you know leading or maybe you're just even supervising um whatever this is like it's going to result in success. This literally says achievement, okay, competence, legacy. I feel like a lot of you um, are maybe working to create your own legacy or create something big that, you know, is going to leave an everlasting impact. Or even if it's just like your career responsibilities here, um, I do feel like you're going to be gaining recognition for that, okay? This also says like authority figures. So maybe your boss or someone will be like applauding you for all the work that, you know, you've been doing and, um, this also says empire okay so i feel like you're going to create your own empire or you're on the way to doing that and you're going to see major progress in that okay so if you have some sort of business or side hustle going on expect to get a lot more sales in the coming weeks um yeah and i'm also seeing with this aries card you are definitely a self-starter you're someone that's passionate you're someone that's very um this also says like innovative but you're someone that like you know is a hustler okay like you are very driven and ambitious and a lot of people you know, really admire that about you. And while you may be, you know, gaining recognition for sure, I feel like all your hard work and efforts are going to be paying off, okay? You are very competitive. Both of these actually say competitive and um, you're someone that doesn't give up. You're the type of person that probably believes, or maybe this is something that you're going to be seeing a lot more of, but um, maybe you believe in the fact that like, it doesn't matter, you know, how good you know whatever it is that you do it's all about consistency it's all about hard work it's all about effort and um that is really paying off because i feel like you don't quit you don't give up you're all about stability you're all about reliability you're all about like you know the grind and kind of just doing things like long term okay um what i mean by this is like um you know some people give up too early in the game whereas you have that drive to keep going okay you have that aspect of being persistent being consistent um really following through with things yeah the taurus is all about like reliability stability um like i said you know long-term commitment so it's like when you make a commitment to something you know it's really good for you you know it's going to be lucrative you know it's going to like result in something even if you're not seeing the results just yet like you keep continuing you keep working at it and um yeah you're steadfast you're solid no one can break you down um you're also like yeah, this literally says like tenacious and you're loyal to like whatever it is that you do, whatever it is that you um, invest your time, energy, effort in. Because you're also the type of person where if you've invested a lot of time, energy, effort into something, you know, you don't want to back out because it's like your project. It's like, you know, your baby. Um, yeah, like for a lot of people, you know, end up calling their business or side hustles babies. And that's actually a really, really... Um, admirable quality in you okay you are very productive and this also says like fertile and like you know um i'm seeing like you know flowers here so it's like you nurture something you let something grow and like you just um you know you see to it through the end okay yeah and this literally says like ripe okay i love how it's like fer fertile and ripe like you know you see things to the end of their fruition or to to their fruition yeah um we also got like uh, for whatever reason, I'm also getting that for some of you, and this is not going to resonate with all of you, if you have been trying to get pregnant, this is a really good sign that you will. If not, you know, don't worry about that. That doesn't resonate. That might not, ah, might not resonate with you, but it's like, if you are trying um, with someone, if you are trying to have a kid, whether that be, you know, like naturally or maybe adopt, I'm seeing that this is a really good sign for you. Yeah, but I'm also just seeing like projects coming to fruition, things um, coming to a completion and you... And things being successful and you gaining recognition for that, okay, in the next two weeks. Um, okay, you could also be starting something in the next two weeks as well. And it's something that you will work on for a while. But for a lot of you, I'm more seeing that, yeah, something that you've been working on, you know, is coming to a completion, coming to an end. Um, it's very successful. 
you know, you're going to be accomplishing a lot. Uh, you probably have been seeing like signs of like signs that you're going to be like, you know, gaining some sort of financial abundance or monetary abundance or um, signs that things are working out really well. But um, you'll finally see that manifesting in the 3D reality. Yeah. OK, so we also got this moon and feelings here. So I really do feel like in the next couple of weeks, um, you're going to be like going through a lot of healing. OK, this uh, period of this represents a period of healing um, and you're really going to be coming to terms with your emotions. You're really going to be. Um, what do you call you're gonna be in touch with your emotions in touch with your feels um i love the seashell and this pearl here i feel like this could be like you know you're breaking out of your shell and you, maybe you're uh, a little bit more vulnerable or you're going to be okay with being more vulnerable with yourself um, i'm really seeing like you know processing things to the root cause and you know not being afraid of your own emotions not like um letting anything not like what do you call it? maybe if you've been avoiding confronting something or processing something this is a sign that that's not going to be the case anymore okay this is a sign that like um oh my gosh there's like literally a teardrop falling from here so this is a sign that like you're going to be like completely okay with who you are and really accept yourself um holistically and fully you know as you should because you're an amazing person this also says like healing growth release so um i do feel like you're going to be releasing anything that doesn't serve you maybe if there's some negative emotions that you've been harboring maybe there's a certain emotion that you feel like keeps coming up maybe there's some people that you're kind of like you know still angry at or have some sort of like you know negative history or resentment with i feel like you're gonna really let go of this um on a much bigger level like maybe at times you know you feel okay like okay yeah you know whatever i'm okay with my past i'm okay with whatever these people did it doesn't affect me but then like at random times you know something could trigger you and it comes back again so i really feel like you're going to be working on these triggers and you're going to see these triggers like diminishing so it's like even if you do see something that triggers you it's not going to affect you as much it's not going to impact you as much um yeah it's like you're really conditioning yourself to be you know in alignment with happiness and positivity and things that you know are the greatest for your higher good um or for your higher good yeah i'm also seeing um you know like this says like emotions so it's like you know these emotions that you've been feeling like i'm just seeing like yeah you're gonna be like going through a really big release so like um in the next two weeks i feel like something is gonna happen you know you're just gonna purge out all these feelings and it's like even if you do get triggered in the future it's not gonna be as impactful anymore okay so i feel like if there's something that you've kind of been like you know waiting on um or like sorry if it it's like some sort of pattern that you realize like oh you know sometimes i'm okay but sometimes i just um i feel all these things all over again if that is something that you're feeling like in the next two weeks you're gonna go through this major release major purge maybe even like awakening where it's just gonna kind of leave you for good okay it's not going to like impact you um as much as it has or maybe even at all okay after these next two weeks you're gonna be like oh my gosh that's so silly i can't even believe i worried about this like you know for example if like you know you broke up with someone if you had some sort of breakup like five plus years ago like you know probably doesn't impact you as much as maybe it did you know four years ago or five years ago or even a couple of years ago so you're going to be really like at peace at ease with this big release that you're going through it's very interesting because i am filming this during the taurus full moon energy or it's like almost a full moon here so i just feel like you know you're going to be feeling a lot more stable and secure within yourself okay you're definitely manifesting like emotional stability and just stability in all kinds okay stability and security in um, every single way you're going to feel very comfortable you're going to feel very um you know just like i said at ease at peace you're not going to feel like threatened like you're the type of person you know where if your if your stability gets threatened that's something that like you know just ends up really impacting you to a big level you know you are all about stability you are all about like um you know knowing how things are going to be you like things to be predictable to an extent and i just feel like you're going to be feeling a lot more secure and stable so if you feel like your stability has been threatened in some way that is not something that you're going to um worry about whatsoever yeah and then we also got this card this keeps hiding behind this 10th house card but we got try and flow so 
this is energizes, harmonizes. So I do feel like you're going to be feeling a lot more energetic in the next couple of weeks. You're going to feel a lot more like, you know, ready to take on your goals. You're going to be feeling like less lethargic and tired if you have been feeling a little bit tired or a little bit exhausted. You know, this could be a sign that you need kind of a break. You know, this could be a sign for you to kind of even slow down. You know, even with this Taurus moon, um, Taurus is the sign of like abundance and stability. Um, but this also is the card of slowing down and taking a break and kind of just like moving at like a stress-free pace okay like Taurus energy is kind of associated with being a little bit slow but it's like you know slow and steady wins the race so if um you know you've been feeling a little bit burnt out I feel like you're going to be taking a break or now is the time for you to take a break and like after that things will just flow so smoothly okay I'm even seeing maybe for a lot of you this could be um you could be manifesting a vacation or maybe you'll be taking a vacation in the next two weeks or maybe it's something that you've already planned out but you're going to be feeling super refreshed at um after this vacation okay you're going to be feeling really energized rejuvenated and ready to take on your goals so that's really great yeah um I'm also seeing that for a lot of you, you could be getting in touch with your femininity or feminine side. Like even if you are a male, you're just going to be tapping into that side a lot more. You're going to be feeling a lot more compassionate, a lot more ease and just a lot more like yourself. Okay, like you're really going to be um, exploring your true self and feeling really comfortable with who you are. And just I, I keep hearing like self-acceptance and self-love, which is really great. And I yeah, I keep looking back at this trine, like things are just going to be flowing for you again. You're going to be feeling a lot more motivated and ready to take on the day you're going to be supported this also is like harmonizes so like you're, you're going to be in harmony with like you know um yourself yes but also other people you're going to be noticing that your relationships with others um are going to be very easy very fun very just like stress-free and relaxed yeah um also i am seeing that you're going to be manifesting like more leadership roles um in the next couple of weeks or you may be taking on some projects or taking upon things that like um are going to really help you um, establish your place in society or at work or it's really gonna be something where you'll be gaining more visibility or like really proving yourself in some way um, yeah but do expect like uh, more responsibilities I am seeing that that is something that you're manifesting but you're gonna be able to like seamlessly um, get through these tasks and responsibilities okay okay wow that's amazing um i'm gonna go ahead and pick some tarot cards so we got justice okay so i actually see that a lot of you could be manifesting marriage or something happening in your love life here okay so how about fairness balance equality so i really do feel like um if you feel like your love life or um maybe even just relationships with people because this is associated with the seventh house of relationships um maybe if you've been noticing a strain in that or it's been stressing you out like things are going to be a lot better a lot more you know a lot less stressful yeah this is just about like peace harmony good times stress-free times and yeah i'm also seeing like marriage for some of you okay some sort of legal contract working in your favor oh my god favor some sort of legal holdings or anything that you're dealing with regarding the government like maybe taxes or something financial um if you've been waiting on a verdict for something or if you've been in court for something i do see that things are going to be working out in your favor okay the legal holdings are going to be um yeah working in your favor and yeah I, I keep hearing like marriage and like maybe making things a little bit more official with the person that you're with so i do feel like maybe you're gonna be cuffed up for good cuffed up for real yeah we also got the king of wands here then we also got the king of cups this is amazing okay so i'm actually seeing for some of you maybe you could be dealing with two love interests or two people that are into you i'm seeing one of them could be a fire sign one of them could be a water sign i'm also getting libra energy here but um i really feel like maybe you might be having to make a choice between these two people or you're gonna have two suitors that are very interested in you both these people are really mature both these people are really like um you know like they know how to like be in a relationship they know how to like uh with this justice card this is all about fairness balance equality they know how to really treat their partner with fairness and equality and um i'm seeing that you're gonna be treated like an absolute queen or absolute king so get ready to be spoiled yeah i'm also seeing there's someone out there that is going to be confessing their feelings towards you so you're going to be getting some sort of confession of love i do feel like someone's going to profess something to you um i'm also seeing that someone out there is very passionate about you okay and that is something that you're also going to be um like that's something that you're gonna like see or be wary of okay uh you just expect you to be 
expect yourself to be spoiled and pursued. Yeah, I'm also seeing that you're going to be going after your passions or you're going to be finding something that you are very passionate about, something that's also going to be fulfilling you emotionally, mentally, find, like you know, just holistically in general. So yeah, expect a lot of abundance in that area of your life as well. Um, okay, we also got strength. So I do feel like you could be reconciling with someone. I do feel like there's someone from the past that might want to come back and make amends. But with the strength, I'm also seeing you're going to be noticing your own inner strength and realizing that you had that all along, but you're going to be tapping into that, channeling that more. And you're going to be feeling a lot more stronger and ready to like take on the day, okay? You're going to be feeling a lot like um, just ready to go after your goals, dreams, desires. You're going to be feeling a lot more energized, uh, passionate, and just motivated yeah to go after your goals as well uh we also got the hanged man yes i do feel like um maybe at times you could feel stuck or if at times you are feeling stuck you're slowly getting out of the situation and like listen like this represents that you're the one that holds your own um like, look at the way that he's holding his strength so it's like you have control of your life more than you know that's also what the strength card is all about this is all about gaining control of your life not by physically forcing the 3d but by uh, going about it in a spiritual way, okay? Using your spiritual, mental, emotional strength to get through your obstacles or whatever it is that's holding you back. But it's like, you know, you hold the strings. Like, you're not like a puppet. No one else is holding the reins or strings. It's you and like you have complete control and power over um, your future and what you end up manifesting, okay? So I really feel like you're going to kind of, you know, maybe if you've been a little bit in your own way, you're going to realize that. Maybe you're going to get over some like blocks or limiting beliefs and yeah, it's going to be really good for you you're gonna be um just uh realizing your full potential yeah uh okay let's go ahead and pick some cards from the karma tarot deck to get a couple uh, more messages here okay we got taurus again so yeah you're gonna be like uh, noticing a lot of like you're going to be going about things in a pragmatic way. You're going to be noticing that your um, way of thinking might be shifting. Um, again, I'm seeing like consistency, tenacity, and just going after your goals and dreams. This also says use the most direct way and. So I feel like um, if there's something that you've been manifesting, like you're going to be getting that because of um, just the time, energy, effort you're putting in. But I also feel like you're going to go about things in a very like efficient manner, okay? Like I'm really hearing work smart, not hard, okay? So um, it's like you're going to be manifesting these things things because you will have found a more like this is the most direct way you will have found a way to like be more efficient um be more efficacious yeah and this also says resulting from the productivity of so you are going to be really productive or you're going to be just noticing um like everything that you have been like investing your time energy effort in whatever you have been like being very productive in um you're gonna be noticing the results of that yeah we also got virgo again more work vibes so i do feel like you're gonna be coming into a lot of financial abundance um you're gonna be like a lot more analytical you're gonna be like you know really realizing your power this also says methods for the healing power of i even feel like you're gonna yeah you're just going through a lot of healing um and it's like even if you're not someone that necessarily needs healing i'm just saying you're gonna be having some sort of breakthrough that's really gonna help you that's gonna push you towards your goals yeah and this also says do what you must do so i do feel like you're going to be manifest like these responsibilities that you have you're going to be like you know still doing them but you're gonna it's gonna feel a lot more easier it's not gonna feel like work it's not gonna feel mundane it's actually gonna feel almost even fun because we got this aquarius and aries energy here and we got you know these earth sign energy here as well energies here with the taurus and virgo so it's like you're just gonna be finding a good balance between um work and play yeah and i just keep hearing like financial abundance monetary abundance and definitely like abundance in your love life as well okay i feel like more than the other piles um this is looking really really great for your romantic life again i see that you may be cuffed up or someone's going to be more serious about you someone's going to make you some sort of love offer as well yeah okay that is what we got for you pile two i really hope this reading helped take what resonates and leave what doesn't you always have for you in your reality um if this pile didn't resonate you can of course go and pick another pile i also do want to let you know that i offer in-depth video readings so if you are interested in getting personal questions answered be sure to check out the description box below where you can sign up for one and yeah i will go ahead and end the reading right here thank you so much love and light